Hello everyone, this is Goddess Demoness and Sonera from Sutor Angels. After receiving some disturbing complaints about the PTS, as the official fashion police of Star Wars, the Old Republic, we decided to step in and investigate the situation ourselves. For that, we sent our trusted agent and content creator, Central Network, to gather all the incriminating evidence on the developers. I brought you the information that you requested, my goddess. As you asked, I went to the PTS and I inspected some of the new outfits. I also got the new items from the cartel market, including the weapon tuning. I hope this information appeases you. Okay, you can go back to your cage now. Let's waste no more time and enter the Bioware headquarters. It looks a little run down, but we have high hopes for... Oh, fuck no! Did inspiration for this armor set hit you while you were sitting on the toilet? Thank God for the outfitter feature. We wouldn't want to wear a urinal and a harness made out of a washing machine's hoses when upgrading our gear. We understand that you wanted to create a link between the new operation concept and the style of this gear set, but you failed miserably. It gets 1 out of 10. For this fashion crime, we are ready to bust in your design department and lock up all of those responsible, with the exception of the artist who created the revolutionary armor set of Lady Dominique. We hope to see something similar added as a player outfit, because those sleeves are definitely a 10 out of 10 and Suitor Angels approved. Also related to the new operation aesthetic, our agent uncovered the new creep weapon tuning. It's quite appealing, with dark twisting thorns enveloping your weapon. We would give it an 8 out of 10, and you could have implemented that idea for a unique armor set inspired by the Night Sisters. We really need some fresh magical, sexy energy added in the game. Just make something that Space Barbies would buy. Let's move on to the next gear sets. Nothing new here, just repurposed recolored sets from over a decade ago. The game is in a very weird state right now, and we're getting bored. Honestly, how do you sleep at night? These armor sets don't deserve our rating. Next up, the Imperial Reaper's armor set. It's a pretty good attire for a Sith to wear, combining different textures and shapes making it look more dynamic. Our only complaint is the overly large hood that's simply not practical if you're not wearing a helmet underneath. 7 out of 10. Another new cartel market item added on the PTS is Malgus' rebreather mask. It's just another basic armor piece that will get 5 out of 10, because we are gonna throw up if we see one more Malgus inspired fashion article. The next illegal fashion act is this awful hybrid between an espresso machine and a vintage radio that's supposed to be a helmet. We support creating more armor pieces for troopers, but we can't approve of this one. We'll give it 2 out of 10. The biggest crime, however, is that in all these months after the expansion's release, you haven't bothered to fix the preview window for armor sets. Hello? We can't zoom on our helmets or our boots, and for that, we will punish you with Suitor Angel's chastity belts, so that you have more time to focus on fixing the game bugs. We hope for a renewal of the developer team. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share our content. See you in the next video. <laughs>